So as an overly concerned Halo fan, as rightfully so for the last 10 years, it's been kind of eh when it comes to Halo related content. But when I was watching this trailer and hearing the recent news about Halo Studios and how they're developing for the next Halo games, plural, it's kind of struck a little bit of like repeated, I don't know what you call it, like PTSD in a way when it comes to how Microsoft has been developing Halo. And what I mean by that is I feel like most of the times with the Halo franchise that Microsoft and well at the time 343 now Halo Studios seem to bite off more than they can actually chew when it comes to developing Halo. And what do I mean by that? Well, I wanted to take you through all the previous Halo games and kind of showcase like why every game has seemed to be like a hard reset when it comes to anything Halo related and how that could be a repeated issue when it comes to making the next Halo games. Like I said, plural, we have multiple titles in the works right now. So obviously everything starts off with Halo 4, where, I mean, that was probably one of the most radical changes in a gaming franchise I think I have ever seen. <laughs> Going from Halo Reach to Halo 4 is such a drastic, you know, left turn, radical 90 degree shift of one, the art style, the tonality of the game, the storytelling, the additional sci-fi elements make it grander than it might actually need to be. Uh, losing a bit of like its grounded feeling, right? When it came to when 343 came in to make Halo 4, they really leaned into that sci-fi side of things and not so much like the mil granted military feel, which I think really hurt the game overall. And, you know, there are a lot of great things that Halo 4 did, right? But uh, like the campaign specifically, but like the multiplayer, the art style uh, and like some of the encounters you face just doesn't really seem to work super well for me. And it seemed like a lot of Halo fans as this game did have a massive drop off and is generally held as probably the least liked Halo game within the entirety of the franchise, even though it was relatively content complete. I think even won like graphic best graphics on a console like for the year, at like a Game Awards thing, if I remember correctly, which rightfully so because this game looked phenomenal but the thing is though like the why i feel like this game kind of felt like a bit off more than it chew could chew because of everything that it tried to change right and it seemed like it had a decent story like this actually probably might be 343's most competently built halo game but it was probably the least liked one but again like saying having to completely redo everything in the game when it comes to art style, weapon models, animations, uh, voice acting even, and just literally everything about this game changed, which is just sort of like, why did that need to happen? It just didn't really seem to make a whole lot of sense. But at the time, 343 was kind of, 343 was and still what is like a oddly prideful studio. They really wanted to put their stamp on the whole thing when it came to the Halo franchise rather than continuing on the legacy that Bungie built. Uh, but then let's go into the next project, right? Which was the first like major failure that 343 Industries had. I'm gonna call them 343 at the time. They're Halo Studios now. Just get along with it, okay? Just just roll with it, boys, okay? Uh, but that was the Master Chief Collection right here. Like, yeah, this one was like an objective failure, right? Like at the launch of the game, it was just completely busted, literally, nothing worked in this game and the reason why the game was more than 343 at the time could chew was because the original idea was to start off with just like a halo 2 anniversary right uh bonnie ross even stated this in an interview with ign saying like the original idea was just like let's just do a halo 2 anniversary like we did with combat evolved and it will be a ton of fun right people will love it because it's classic halo 2 who doesn't like halo 2 everyone likes that game right but the thing was that like okay well then the project just kind of kept growing and growing like well let's add in halo 3 oh let's add in halo 4 as well so you can just play through like the master chief story as 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 the whole thing but the thing was that like they brought in all these extra studios to develop onto this and it just was too much for 343 at the time and all these other studios to handle because when trying to put the whole thing together with all these different engines which uh it's been stated that uh the book previous engine uh that blam that you know that all these halo games were built on they were all proprietary engines kind of just 
put together with popsicle sticks and duct tape as Inferno Plus mentioned when he was talking about Madi and Halo 2 that like a lot of things are pretty weird with this engine so trying to put it all together in one piece just didn't really work out super well. It made sense but it didn't really functionally work for 343. And there we go, we have our first objective failure with the company by the Aster Chief Collection. And again, like this was just like, let's do way more than what's needed to try to like make I don't know, something really crazy for the fans to enjoy, which I always appreciate 343's ambitious level of designing games when it came to uh, Halo. But sometimes you just need to just work with what works, right? You don't need to completely redo everything and or just go beyond what what's needed and that's exactly what they did with the master chief collection but then a year after that you had halo 5 and while halo 5 was still like a relatively good game right but uh it just didn't really land too well with players uh especially with the campaign and uh, there's a lot of leaks and rumors that around the campaign of halo 5 that originally it was supposed to be like half master chief half lock kind of thing you kind of play as lock in real time and then you find the memories of what chief did in the section then you play through the master chief memory sections and then at the end you kind of all come together at the end we can, we've kind of seen this similar type of storytelling before um but then the, all that got cut out of the game allegedly right there's all leaks and rumors at the time uh, but then also when it came to the multiplayer side of things which i actually liked halo 5's multiplayer uh, but a lot of people didn't manage just because it didn't really feel like Halo because they completely redid the multi style of the multiplayer when it came to like map design, abilities, weapon design, like literally everything had to change to accommodate the extra movement that you, your character was given, which again didn't really feel very needed. And at the time when this game was announced and being showcased, a lot of people just compared it to Call of Duty because at the time this was the jump pack era of Call of Duty with like Advanced Warfare, Infinite Warfare, and Black Ops 3, that whole era. And so it felt like 343 was just trying to copy Call of Duty and try to ride trends, which Halo, again, has never really done a great job of being like a trend follower. But it's always been a great, done a great job of being a trend setter. Uh, but that's definitely not what Halo 5 did. And it felt like the campaign was kind of half baked, which from leaks and rumors, like I talked about earlier, seems to be the case with that. The multiplayer, while I liked it, definitely didn't feel like a true Halo game. It felt like something completely different. And people even stated that, like, if it wasn't even titled Halo, that this game actually probably would have succeeded, especially on the multiplayer side of things, because it was really fun. A lot of skill expression was available for players, you know, with the advanced movements and things like that, especially with how much, pit, you know, younger generation players for FPS games are so obsessed with movement in games. You know, Halo 5 delivered on that completely. And I enjoyed it as well, but I definitely found myself preferring the classic style of Halo, a little bit slower methodical movements when it came to that whole thing. Uh, but again, like, buying off more they can chew as in completely redoing the campaign completely redoing the multiplayer side of things and you know taking some of the story elements from halo 4 completely basically retconning them into some weird hodgepodge story that didn't really make a whole lot of sense at the end of the day nothing really happened and so like halo 5 man it was just like why do you need to change so much why can't you just like continue on with what you had right it just seems like every single iteration of halo has been like a complete you know franchise reset being like forget everything you know about halo when like i don't because halo has so many great memories and such a classic legacy behind strong legacy behind the whole thing that i don't want to forget everything i know about the franchise because it's great like that's why people love it and so they seem to try to capture that legacy and go back to it while also modernizing it a little bit with Halo Infinite, and while Halo Infinite, like, I think we all can agree that had phenomenal gameplay, but this game in particular, Halo Infinite was one where 343 just kind of went full on, just like way too ambitious, trying to redo everything about the game to make it into one a live service game, make it into an open world campaign game, and also trying to make it a more classic inspired multiplayer experience. Re, you know having to remodel absolutely everything to this more like neoclassical art style that hints back at the classic halo days but also updates everything a little bit to kind of make it look even better which i loved halo infinite's art style i mean master chief halo, halo infinite master chief 
It's definitely my favorite model of all the Master Chiefs out there. Like, he looks like a freaking tank, but like in a really badass way, rather than Halo 4 and Halo 5 model was much, it just did like the, I felt like the armor set just didn't really make a whole lot of sense. Even though like, yeah, it's sci-fi, but we're gonna, that's a whole nother topic right there. But this is the main reason why Halo Infinite failed because of how many things 343 was trying to do all at once and not having proper experience to do everything all at once either to completely rework an engine into a, a live service functioning thing which never really got there so being a tech uh company like they've mentioned with the new dawn trailers and things like that and also revamping the multiplayer completely from halo 5 to be a much more classic inspired type of multiplayer and then going open world with the campaign as well all this over a live service model which they've never done before either kind of did a little bit with halo 5 in the first year but even developers stated that with the halo 5 semi live monthly update live service stuff was unsustainable like strictly direct quote from the developers right there so that's another thing where like they just tried doing too much all at once and now we know that with the new dawn trailer that was mentioned that multiple projects in the works and we've seen that from uh multiple news articles from including from talking with 343 that they are working on multiple projects multiple titles are in the works right now when it comes to halo and it's like guys i don't know if you need to release you know work on multiple titles all at once and stretch yourselves too thin to make something like yeah you are working in the unreal engine which we all know is the big thing that's gonna be driving in the future of halo because we know unreal works right like that's the biggest issue with the slip space engine that which is really just a heavily modified Blam engine that Halo's had for the past 23 plus years now at this point, 24, you know, 23 years at this point, that it's like we need to make sure we can at least make a Halo game that's good, content complete, and enjoyed by the fans before we start, you know, making three, four, five titles all at once. I'm not, you know, we don't know exactly how many titles are in the work right now. They just keep saying multiple. So I'm assuming like two, if not three full titles are currently in the works utilizing the unreal engine and that's a massive expansion a huge undertaking and try to see if they can make it into a cohesive experience in some capacity would just be kind of crazy and again maybe buy enough more than they can actually chew again but the thing is that like how functional will this unreal engine work like is it really going to be kind of like shared assets across all these games and maybe you have like a single player campaign game that's separate from the multiplayer side of things and then maybe you have like a user generated like gmod style uh forge game or, or like a battle royale even uh for like a third separate pillar of these three separate entities of halo rather than having to package them all together into one piece or something like that that could be what they're trying to do so then it would be kind of like the normal load of making a singular game but then dividing them up into three entities so then each entity can update itself and work at its own speed that's needed but again that's all speculation but again that's the big concern i have with halo moving forward right now is that like we hear that there are multiple tiles in the works when it comes to working in unreal engine and we do know the engine works but we haven't really been proven by Halo Studios, formerly 343, that they are able to make a game that's ready for release that people will enjoy. Uh, until then, we just kind of have to wait and see. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this type of videos, make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a green heart down below if you've made it to the end of the video. We'll see who the real ones are out there. And do you have any concerns about Halo moving forward with this Unreal Engine and multiple titles in the works? Just let me know in the comments down below. But thank you all for watching. Great appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.